What's going on this morning? How you doing this morning? It's good to see everybody in here. Before I even get started, if you hear the fan going in the back, the Blue Eddy is charging from the solar panels on a cloudy day, and I'm bringing in, I was about to say it was 338 watts off of four 100 watt Renergy panels, but it's down to 312, 309. Anyway, so that fan, you're going to hear that fan for a minute. And it's charging the jackery. So, get that out the way. The first words when that I want to talk about... Matching the right type of funnel? Shut up. <laughs> the first words I want to say before I greet everybody. I want to say... Thank you to everybody that supports me every single day. I want to say thank you. Even if it's just for a minute, even if you pop your head in, whatever. Just anything positive, I appreciate it. Now, with that being said, I also want to say thank you to a brother of mine. His name is, I'm actually going to type his name in the, in the comment section. Because I want y'all to go over and see his channel. Because he always calls me grief. Hold on. He's a good guy. Please go to his channel. And check him out. I just put his name in the in the comment section. His name is Dan Permaculture Food Forest. Dan Permaculture Food Forest. Please go check my brother out. And I'm going to tell you why. You're going to love him. And you are going to hate him all at the same time. He's a good guy. His content is there. He loves everybody. He don't hate on nobody. It's a lot of this beef crap going on on YouTube between gardeners and everybody else. He don't have nothing to do with that crap. He like, leave me out of that. That's my friend. That's my friend. That's my friend. It's much respect to people like that. Much respect. He don't want to have nothing to do with nothing negative. So that's why I'm shouting my man out because he one of the best in the business right now. And I also want to shout him out because I'm about to hate on him right now. Dan, somebody else, write his name in the comments. Everybody that have been over to Dan Permaculture Food Forest, put his, I want you to write his name in the comment section right now. Write his name and put up a fist. Right now, Dan Permaculture Food Forest. Write his name right now. I'm going to write it again, too, even though it takes me three days to write. I'm telling you, put his name in the comments right now because I want his name to spread. I want his whole name, not just Dan. It's a bunch of Dan's. I want Dan Permaculture Food Forest. Even if you spell it wrong, just write it. Dan Permaculture Food Force. Throw his name up there. I don't care if you spell it wrong. I don't even know if I spelled it right. I ain't even look at the spell check. I just hit go. Dan Permaculture Food Force. Don't just put Dan. It's a lot of Dan's out there, but it ain't no Dan like our Dan, because Dan is the man. Thank you for that. Much respect to Dan Permaculture Food Force. And the reason I'm doing this is because Dan lives in a tropical area. Thank you, everybody, for that. Thank you, everybody, for that. Thank you. Dan lives in a tropical area. I'm not quite sure exactly where it is, but he lives in a tropical area. And a lot of us all around the world and around the USA looks at the things that he grows. He's in Florida. He's, he's very southern Florida somewhere. I want to know where in Florida, because I got a place in Florida. Well, you can grow this stuff down there, too. Yeah. Let me tell you. You're going to love this guy. 
and you're going to hate them. I'm going to tell you why you love them. Right, I'm in Orlando. Uh, kiss me. Uh, you're gonna hate, you're gonna love him, and you're gonna hate him. Please go subscribe to him. Every uh, the reason I wanted y'all to all put his name in there, because I want all of y'all to go check my brother out. Go check him out. I ain't saying subscribe to him. You can do what you want. You go check him out, and I promise you, you're gonna end up subscribing. Because once you see the stuff that he's growing, you're gonna understand why I'm telling you to go and check him out. Now, number one, Dan, I try not to watch him. You ever have one of them friends, you know you're going to have too much fun, so you know if you got to go to work in the morning or you marry, you kind of want to like, ah. Well, he's that to me in the gardening community. He's that guy that I I really try not to watch his channel because he's going to make me go spend some money on something, something, something ridiculous. Okay, he gonna make me do stuff. Now I always be saying I don't like growing from seed. Yeah, I don't like growing from seed. Yes, it's possible. Yes, it's a good thing to do. I don't like doing it. But what does Dan Permaculture Food Forest got led doing? Man, I'm growing all kind of crazy stuff from seed. I got mangoes, avocados, Burritos. I'm trying to put everything in bags, man. All right, Grow Family Network, man. I just got off there watching you. Caught you on the tail end. He got me growing. He got me trying to grow everything from seed. I'm eating stuff and I'm just sticking seeds in bags now, knowing that is not my style, Dan. Dan. So I got. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. And I want whoever answer first, you the one. What, what is it that is one of my favorite foods? For years, for at least the last five or six years, I try to grow it every single year. And it fails every single year. Every single year it fails. I try to grow this every year. Every year I do it. Uh, Miss Reaper, Miss Reaper, you're the first on my screen. Email me right. No, no, no. Yeah. Email me your cash app, Miss Reaper, right now. Email me your cash app right now. Mango is the answer. Every year for the last five or six years, I've been trying to grow a freaking mango. I done brought them from all around the country. You hear me? I done brought them from all around the country. I went and got them personally down in Florida myself. And every time I'm like, this one is going to make it. Okay. Before I get into that, I always try to garden with this tree the same way I do the rest of my trees. Like, you know, let it, let it do what it do. Let nature take its course. That don't work when you're trying to grow something that you ain't got no business growing in your area. That don't work. You got to baby some things. And I told y'all in other videos, I'm not babying stuff. And Ms. Reaper, I'm going to be looking for your email, okay? You just won 20 bucks. I'm going to cash app you immediately. All right? So, thank you for that subbing for uh, Dan. You won't be sorry. Trust me on that. Now, now check this out, okay? This is a question that I have for you. No, we ain't going to do that yet. I'm going to get my dumb stuff out the way. Curse y'all blade, fellas. Always ask me. Dan. Doggone it, Dan. 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 <laughs> Man, you got me doing dumb stuff, Dan. Can't be watching you, man. I be trying to watch your channel in the morning. You and Sapper, and y'all be having me doing dumb stuff. Dan, you be having me trying to grow stuff I ain't got no business growing. And Sapper be trying to have me eating stuff I ain't got no business eating. Damn it, Dan! Dan! You had, look, I'm, I'm up one night, y'all. It's about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. I'm up, who pops on? You hear that? You hear that dog on Island music? Book-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-
much respect. Then what do Dan show me? Mangoes. It's three in the morning. Lady led like, hey, turn that light down on that phone. Who is you listening to? I, it's like I'm watching a nasty movie. I put my earbuds in. in. You got to cut that light down. I sneak. I go downstairs, grab my robe. I'm under the doggone covers looking at the doggone Dan like a boop much respect for some mangoes. You got me feeling like I'm cheating on my wife about these mangoes, man. Three or four o'clock in the morning. You got me with my dog on wallet and dialing, looking, Googling mangoes. Which one do Dan got? <laughs> I'm Googling what Dan got. Only one store had it. Logies. Everybody else was sold out. I didn't care how big they was. I didn't care how mature they was. Dan said, to, uh, uh, oh, we about to find out in a minute. I'm sitting there looking at my credit card number. Okay, uh, my expiration date. Oh, what? Hold on. What's that little code on the back? Okay. In the dark. By candlelight, Dan. By candlelight, Dan. You got my wife coming downstairs like, who you talking to? She, nobody, honey. It, 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 it's just Dan. She go to bed like this. You know it's four in the morning. I, 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 I'm coming to bed. I'll be right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn it, Dan. So let's get right into it. This is what Dan made me buy. Dan made me buy at three o'clock in the morning, about a week or two ago, mangoes. Dude, man, look, let me tell you something. You, you start to question yourself. Every, uh, somebody else got you buying some nonsense in the middle of the night, you half dressed, you feel some type of way like, man, I, I need to do better. I need to do better. Because everything, this scene right now, if I had to explain this to an attorney, everybody gonna be like, this don't look good, man. This don't look good for you. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. You was up ordering mangoes, as you put it. Give us a break. Who the hell does that? Lock him up, Dano. Think about that. My story sounds whack. Sometimes the truth sounds worse than a lie. And that one do. Three o'clock in the morning. I'm up. If I had to explain that to my wife, think about it. Say this to yourself. You, your wife, or your husband, you down there like, yes, what's my credit card number? Uh, 321 136. Who you talking to? Nobody. Nobody. Don't you sound like you cheating. What you down here doing? Uh, buying mangoes at three in the morning? Uh, they had a sale? <clears throat> okay. Dan, this is for you. I love you, bro. But, man, you, you get on my nerves, too, man. You gonna get me in trouble, man. You be about to get me killed. Because, listen, I had to explain that. I had to explain that. 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 a.m. mangoes. That's what I'm gonna call these. 3 a.m. mangoes, damn it, Dan. Damn it, Dan. Damn, 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 Dan. But an dun dun But an dun dun But an dun 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 Dun, 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 Dan, let's get to it. This is what Dan got me buying, y'all. Dang on it, Dan. And then, nothing worse than the mailman show up and deliver the stuff when the other person is home. Like, oh, you got a package? Uh, it, one of my YouTube friends might have sent it. No, it got your name on it. And it says, from you to you. So, Dan, doggone it, Dan, you did this, Dan, but Dan is my man. I'm telling you, I'd rather be getting in trouble with my friend for buying plants than taking me to the strip club all day. I can explain this one away. When my wife is eating a delicious uh, Alfonso mango, or the one that he suggested, which is, I'm about to show y'all right now. This is from Logies. 
I ain't telling y'all how many I bought or nothing because I'm embarrassed. All right. I bought two Nam Dot Mai mangoes. I ain't going to show y'all the rest because my, my, my address on there. Nam Dot Mai supposed to be one of the best mangoes in the world. Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. Look at that. Ooh, she got a pretty mouth, ain't she, Paul? She sure is. Ooh, she sure is pretty. I like the way she talk, too. Look at that. Yeah. If I had one, that wouldn't be so stupid. That wouldn't be too bad. That's explainable. But this is where stuff gets stupid. This is where it gets dumb and that gardening fiend come out. Y'all seen my gardening fiend video. If you haven't seen my gardening fiend video, go check it out. You will understand. You will understand. So, I got two Namdak my mangoes. All because of Dan Permaculture Food Forest and his groovy music in his intro. Dan. See what you do to people, man. But you know what, people? All jokes aside, Turf, what's up, man? All jokes aside, Dan does it in a good, loving way. He shows us what's possible out there where he is. He shows us what's possible. And he's showing us fruit that we don't know nothing about. I watched him eat that doggone strawberry guava that he grew from seed. And I was sitting there like, oh, I guess it is possible. I remember him planting it. I'm sitting there like, damn, it's possible. Now send me some of them guavas, Dan. So he's sitting there to eat mangoes like popcorn. So what do my dumb butt do? I'm going to try it again. So I'm bringing all of y'all here to try it again. But this time, I'm not going to try to let this grow like everything else. I'm going to baby these trees. By the way, I got two more on the way. You big dummy. I'm going to baby these trees. And until I get a mango, until I see a mango, man, I've had, I've come close. I've come close. I've had buds, I've had little mangoes, they fall off and then it get cold, then my whole tree be dead. I feel dumb every time and I'll be like, damn it, Dan, Dan. But all I be thinking though, it ain't nobody's fault because this just, these are not supposed to be in 8A with me. They're not supposed to be growing in 8A, especially while they green and tender like this. They, uh, see that tender? Tender love, love so tender, pulling me close to you. It's too tender to even be trying to grow it in this area. This came from Logies. And that's the ticket on that. Let me make sure. Yeah, yeah. Nam Doc Mai, that's the name of it. I don't know if they have any more because they was pretty low. Okay. So yeah, they, they sent me these tender and they're, they're grafted. So I'm going to baby them. So I want to say to my brother, Dan Permaculture Food Forest, man, thank you for showing us varieties of food that we don't have no idea of because here they want everybody to think the only things is red delicious apples, green delicious apples, 
uh, navel oranges. Man, there's so much more variety of food that we could be growing in our orchards, but they're not commercial because they're not profitable to those companies. So we don't know about all this stuff. But when we go to look at people in more tropical areas, and some of the stuff does grow here. It does grow here, just we don't know anything about them. That's why we all stick together and try to spread information and share information because of things like this. So, thank you, Dan. I'm going to scoot this over. One little mango. I'm going to scoot him over. I'm going to scoot this back over here. I'm going to bring y'all close to me. So, this is why I'm here today. And I hope my friend emailed me. This is why I'm bringing y'all here today because I got a question for you. Down in the comments, before I go, in the comments, I want you to tell me. Now, here, here's how we're going to play this. I don't care how much it would cost you. I don't care what you had to do to make whatever it is survive in your area. We actually playing fantasy gardening right now, okay? Welcome to fantasy gardening, okay? What would be your number one thing you wish you could grow in your area? I don't care if you're in Michigan. I don't care if you're in Ohio, New York. I don't care if you're on a balcony. What's the one thing you wish you could grow? And you will be willing to do anything to grow it. What's the one thing? Soursop, pineapples. Pineapples is easy almost everywhere. Oh, I'm over here. Hold on. Cherry, apple, banana, avocado, pears, guava, lemon, capers. Capers? Uh, if fruit or veggie does, it don't matter. This is, this is dream sequence. It don't even matter if it's stupid. It don't even matter if it's ridiculous. You live on the concrete jungle. I don't care. What is your favorite that you wish you could grow? I don't care how. Say you got a million dollars and you as eccentric as Johnny Depp. And you like, look, drill a hole through the street and plant that tree right there and put a dome over it. If you had all that money to do that, if you're that crazy, what would what plant or what tree would you grow? We only going to do one. Coffee and mangoes. Uh, pomegranate, banana, blueberries, cherries. I got a, a, a cashew tree today. Actually, avocados, soursop, almonds, cashews, money tree, bay leaf. Let me, ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Tomatoes, bell peppers, herbs, pecans, money tree, cherry, moringa, almonds, jackfruit, vanilla beans, blueberry, Brazil nut, Spanish lime. Are we going to stop right there? Shoo, come on. Pecan, cocoa, collard greens. Who said collard greens? You can grow collard greens. But if you can't, that's your dream. Blackberries. Where you at? You can't blow, grow blackberries. You can grow them. See, some of this stuff, they don't, people don't think they can grow, and they can. Passion fruit, oranges, uh, lacking, what was that? La Cienato kale, I, if I'm pronouncing that right. Coconut, pomegranates, dates. Dates, dates is Lady Led's favorite. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. Stevia, orange, you can grow some stevia. Uh, soursop, that's a special one. That's a special one. Angel trumpet, you can grow angel trumpet anywhere. Anywhere. Um, avocado, olives, cinnamon, coffee, vanilla, avocados, dates, pecans. Uh, no one will ship to Cali. Yeah, Cali is like a whole world to itself. Coconut cream mango. That's, I seen one of them online. Don't give me It was four in the morning, so we ain't going to talk about it. Uh, breadfruit, bitter gourds. Have anybody, I keep hearing soursop. Has anybody ever heard of a lychee tree? As soon as I find a lychee tree, I'm going to try that too. I had a bunch of lychee trees years ago and a bunch of mangoes. It was uh, Barbados cherries, lychee, soursop, and mangoes I brought here. Ooh, papayas, figs. You can grow figs anywhere. You might want to do some research on that. Uh, broke farmer, no, you don't got you don't got no kind of tree you wish you could grow, bro. Come on, bro. 
It got to be something, man. One of your dream trees, dream plant. Uh, ooh, this thing's moving. Oh, r r Rambutan. That's the other one I had. Rambutan. I had Rambutan. I wish I could grow that. Listen, it did, it did horrible here. Horrible. I paid a lot of money for that tree, too. I actually went and picked it up in Florida. Rambutan didn't work. Rambutan, I'm trying to remember which one was which. The One of them is hard. I think that was the lychee with the smoother skin. The Rambutan is the one that looked like a little sea urchin, right? I love them. I love them both. They got a funky little smell, but boy, they so delicious. If y'all don't know, do you see what we're saying here? Rambutan, lychee tree, uh, sour sop. Do you know how many people right here? It's only 300 people in here. You know how many people don't know what none of that stuff is? I encourage you to do your research. Because those fruits, the reason you don't know about those fruits, can anybody tell me why they don't want to tell you about them fruits? Somebody tell me. I'm not even going to say it. Black supported. Why don't they tell you about all these wonderful fruit? Why ain't they so commercial? Why won't they just put these on the market just like a red delicious apple? Anybody know? That's right. Because they will save your life. The health benefits of all of those fruits we just named. The reason why y'all ain't heard of them? Because they are lifesavers. And just to eat when they're expensive, they're expensive because of the health benefits of them. The only reason fruits and vegetables are so expensive is because of their health property. That's why they cost so much. It ain't just because it costs a lot to propagate them. It costs a lot to farm them. No, because of the health benefits. Why would I give you free health care when I can just sell it to you? Okay. It's a no-brainer. You, you don't hear, we all just starting to hear about Moringa and all of these different healthy things. what they say? You want an orange? I mean, you want some vitamin C? Eat an orange. We don't know. Oh, star fruit. Somebody just said star fruit. We're not hearing about this stuff because the health properties of all this stuff, they don't want to make that normal. So, all I'm saying to you is educate yourself on more variety, more variety. And with that, in your life, too, don't just sit in your own hometown and just sit there and think that's the end of the world because ignorance brings hate. Go explore. Go explore. Go taste some food from somewhere else. Go see some different sites, taste different fruits, taste different vegetables, and you will change. You will, you'll be surprised how it changed your whole lifestyle. You will be surprised. Yucca, see? Uh, lemon, lime, trees. Uh, um, let me see. There is no money to be made in healthy people. Absolutely not. Think about this. Think. Look at yourself as a car. If you never broke down, what would happen to the rest of the industry that sells the parts, the mechanics, the gas, the oil, what if your car never broke down because your car was so good? Look at all the other stuff that feeds on just repairing your car. You are that car. So if you were an indestructible car and you didn't have to go in for a tune-up, you didn't have to go in for maintenance because everything you eat in your body cleans your valves, literally, cleans your pistons, you, have, you are putting in top grade fuel into your system so your engine can run at optimum speed and health without any deposits getting captured into your valves. That's how I got through nursing school. <laughs> uh, getting captured and clogging your valves. This is that. That health food is that for you. That's how that works. They don't want that. They want mechanics. They want those mechanics wrenching on you constantly. Because that's money. You got to pay the mechanic and you're going to pay that mechanic whatever the hell he tell you because you got to get back on the road, right? If that mechanic come out like he always do, wiping his hands, yeah, it looks pretty bad. Uh, 
How much is it gonna cost me? Mm, you looking at, you know, at least five hours of labor. Uh, uh, five grand, five grand, something like that. I, well, we'll work with you. We'll work with you. That mechanic, don't that mechanic sound curiously like the doctor? Don't it? Doctor too. Yeah, she's going to need a couple of valves. She's going to need a stent. Uh, how much is that going to cost, Doc? Well, you know, I don't know. Somewhere around, you know, if she doesn't need this surgery, uh, we're looking at like, you know. Don't he look and sound just like the mechanic for your car? Because they're working on the same thing. It's the same thing. And they can pull something out of their head. When they come up with some of them prices, you know what they're thinking about? Not the prices, not the labor of the parts. They're thinking about how much is it going to cost me to go to Barbados again? Uh, and I'm taking my nephew. Mm, and he going through an emo phase. Okay, that's it. Okay, all right. It's going to cost you about 10 grand. Right? So that's how that works. Uh, okay. That's how that works. Okay. So what all of these beautiful tropical fruits that you've never heard of, that's what they're for. All right. So I'm going to get out of here and I thank you for chiming in. And remember, once this video is over, put all of your dream trees, put all of your dream plants that you wish you could grow in the comments. The reason why I'm having you put that stuff in the comments, because didn't you hear what I just said to you? Some of that stuff y'all named off, you can grow and you don't even know it. I want you to put your dream plant or your dream tree or your whatever it is, in the, now, in the comments, you can put as many things as you want. The reason I'm doing that is because other people are going to come in and say, where do you live again? You can grow that. What? Collard greens? Where you live where you can't go uh, grow collard greens? Where you live where you can't grow apple trees? They're going to show you, yes, you can. Okay? So that's why I want you to put your dream tree, put your dream plant, or your whole dream garden in the comment section. So everybody can help each other out and start to figure out you can grow that where you are. OK, we got to stop this whole myth of what you can and what you can't grow in your area. All right. And if you can't, it's time to put a pamper on this baby because we're going to be babying these mangoes. I got two more coming, too. Mm -hmm. So I want to say this shout out to my man, Dan Permaculture Food Force. If you have not went over, everybody say his name one more time. Type his name in the in the set in the comment right now. Dan Permaculture Food Force. Put it in all caps on him real quick so he can see Dan Permaculture Food Force. I'm typing like a baby. Put it in all caps, throw it in the comments so he can he, he can feel that love. Because, damn, man, thank you for this. All jokes aside, man, you are a super influencer in the community, man. You showing people foods that they ain't never seen before, never tasted before. And what that's how you open people's minds up. That's how you let them escape their taste buds from apples, oranges, plums. Go and try a lychee. Go and try a rambutan. Go and try a mango. Go and try a papaya. Go try that stuff. And it, some of that stuff don't even make you want to go back to eating no apples. Sour sop. I love sour sop. You eat that stuff, it will have you like I don't want to. A plantain versus a banana. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to throw some love to my brother, and I wanted to share a little love with y'all, and I wanted to hear what your dream plants are, too. Put your dream plant, put your dream garden, or put your dream tree that you wish you could grow, e even if it sounds stupid. That ain't what this is about, okay? This is fantasy gardening right now. What do you wish you could grow in your area? I don't care 
you could grow it on your balcony or on the sidewalk. What do you wish you could grow? All right. And I hope the young lady that uh, emailed me so I can cash after you this 20 bucks. All right. Let me see. Let me see if you, if you email me before I go. Yep. There you go. Listen. Okay. I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to eat. I'm about to cash app it right now. Come on. I'm moving slow. Her name is Miss Reaper. Okay. I got you, Miss Reaper. How do you do it like this? Okay. I got to, I got to go in here and do it. Uh, capital M, Ms. Reaper. Okay, I'm going to go straight to my cash app because I don't know how to do that like that. Hold tight. Uh, do, 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 do. 20. I wish I could see your face so I make sure I'm sending this to the right place. Ms. R. Ms. Reaper. It's not showing no result. Oh, 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 I forgot the little dollar sign. There it is. Now I want to see Miss Reapers. Miss Reaper, can you can you show up real quick so I can see what your thumbnail looks like? So I can make sure this is you. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you, Ms. Reaper. So it's all it's all cocked and loaded. I'm I'm Ms. Reaper. That's you? Okay, this is not you then. M okay, it's not together. All right, stay right there. Your name ain't together. I see that. It's separate. It's not showing it. M, capital M, Z, capital R, E, A, P, E, R. Hmm. Let me make sure. It's, it's not showing it. And the other one was a T. Let me put them back together again. Let me move the little dollar sign just in case, because usually you don't need that. Nope. All right. I'm going to do this off because I'm. it's going to be easier. I got your email. I'm about to email you right now. Then you email me and make sure. Is this you, Miss Reaper? Is that you? Is that you? Yeah, I, I, I did it with the dollar sign and without it. That's okay. I'm about to get it to you off, off air. So there you go. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you, Miss Reaper. Oh, that is you? Okay. I hope it's you because somebody about to get $20. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stay here and see if you get it. Okay. Say that's you. So here we go. You got to put your, your thumbnail on there. You sending money into outer space. Okay. Tell me if you got it. I just sent it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be sending it up to, to the satellites. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me. Thank you, Dan Permaculture Food Force. Everybody, please go check my brother out. He's going to show you some fruit and some vegetables that you ain't never seen or tasted before. And I guarantee you should give it a shot. You got to give it a shot. All right? Everybody live from 73. Thank you. And I'm out. And I love you, too.